Hello, and I'm going to discuss some of the problems and things associated with Factor V Leiden. Factor V Leiden is actually a mutation of the Factor V, which is involved with uh, blood clotting. Uh, and that mutation makes it resistant to activated protein C. Uh, this increases the risk of deep vein thrombosis as well as a pulmonary embolism. Pregnant women and those who take oral contraceptives are also at higher risk. And around three to five, three to eight percent of people with European ancestry carry at least one copy of this disease. It is an autosomal dominant form of inheritance and it is the most commonly inherited form of thrombophilia. And thrombophilia is just excessive clotting. Okay, so let's take a deeper look into what actually happens when someone has factor V Leiden. Um, so factor V is an essential factor in the blood clotting cascade. Um, factor V binds to platelets and is activated by thrombin into its activated factor V form, which is VA. Uh, VA acts as a cofactor to factor 10, stimulating the conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. Thrombin acts as a positive regulator of factor 5, um, which creates a positive feedback loop. Um, activated protein C limits the clotting by cleaving VA into its inactive form, which limits the, produ the production of more thrombin or new thrombin. Uh, mutated factor V is resistant to the activated protein C, resulting in longer blood clotting than normal. Uh, now let's look at a molecular chart to see what happens. Okay, so now let's talk about how factor V comes into play during the blood clotting cascade. So we have both the intrinsic and extrinsic pathways which converge onto activated factor 10 and activated factor 10 cuts prothrombin into thrombin, and then fibrinogen, then thrombin then cuts fibrinogen into its fibrin mesh, which forms the clot. Thrombin also works to regulate the clotting process by positively regulating factor V into its active form, and active factor V works as a coenzyme with factor 10 to pro-accelerate the clotting uh, process or keep it, keep it going. And then thrombin also works to negatively regulate the clotting process by cleaving protein C into its activated protein C form. And activated protein C um, cuts activated factor V, and that inhibits the process of more thrombin and fibrinogen from being cut, um, thus halting the clotting process. Okay, so now that we've talked about factor V and factor V Leiden and some of the general aspects of that, let's take a look at how the mutation on factor V that we see in factor V Leiden causes the prolonged clotting effect. So protein C is activated and it works as a negative regulator to cleave activated factor 5A or activated factor 5 or VA back to its inactive form. But the mutation that occurs due to factor 5 Leiden prevents protein C from inactivating factor 5. And without this inactivation, the clotting cascade continues to go longer than it's supposed to. And then that's the main problem associated with factor V Leiden.